NBA Youngboy was caught up in more shenanigans. And in this specific event, it seems like someone was shot and quite possibly it could have been a mortal wound. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, it seems that NBA young boy, I I don't know what the really I don't really know what to really say about this particular individual. I don't think he's a bad kid or a bad man or whatever you want to classify him as. He's still a young man. I don't see him. I don't think he's bad. I think it's just sometimes we let our emotions supersede our intelligence. Anyway. So NBA young boy was down at the, the rolling loud event. Like a lot of the rappers are. And we keep hearing about different situations happening there. Just around that whole entire event. And there was a shooting. Actually, NBA Youngboy allegedly, allegedly, got into a confrontation in front of the hotel where he was staying, I'm going to assume. And that confrontation led to shots being fired. One person was hit. Quite possibly, it could be fatal. We don't know at this moment. Let's hope that it is not. Shout out to DJ Academics because I saw this on his page first, just so we could be clear. I saw this on DJ Academics page. Then I looked around to see if anybody else was even talking about it. Nobody else was talking about it. So shout out to DJ Academics. Anyway, as we all know, that Rolling Loud event has so far, so far, there has been a shooting around it as far as the Young Thug situation. There has been an arrest as far as the Kodak Black situation. And you had another rapper literally just says, look, man, if the police is going to check me and my people for weapons, I'm not even showing up at that place in Little Wayne. So when you have NBA young boy and there's already all of these shenanigans happening around this specific event and he's at a hotel and he gets into a argument and for everybody, anybody that don't know about NBA young boy, he is constantly arguing with fans and randoms in front of events and at places wherever he goes. He's, it's, I don't know what's up with him. He's always arguing with people. He's always ready to throw hands or putting off that energy. You understand? Let's hope nothing happens to the young man. Let's hope the individual that was shot, that they recover. Let's absolutely hope that they're not going to lose their life. Um, well, that's all I got on the, I don't, I don't really have much on this particular topic because that's all I heard so far. That's all that's being reported. Like I said, the only person I even seen speaking about it was DJ Academics. So the leader comments down below. I want to know what y'all think about this. Uh, personally, I think that when you walk around giving that type of energy off, like NBA young boy is usually doing that sometimes things are just going to happen and it's going to spiral out of your control and it's going to be nothing that you're going to be able to do. Nothing. But this Rolling Loud event, everything that's going on down there in Miami, I don't know what to tell you. I might, maybe it's, I, I don't want to blame it on the Floridians. <laughs> but I mean, come on. We have to be able to have hip-hop events where shenanigans isn't the main story. Why are we not hearing about the acts? We should be hearing about the performances. We shouldn't be hearing about this other sideline shit. We shouldn't be knowing about this. It should not be at the forefront of the conversation when we speak about a, a, a hip hop event. This was the down stuff like this was the downfall of the Source Awards. Let's get this straight. All right. Let's let's not 
cause for our own hubris to create situations that we cannot now get out of. And that's how these artists need to think. Now, am I upset at Lil Wayne? No, I'm 100% on Lil Wayne's side. He probably, Lil Wayne's, if everybody that don't remember, Lil Wayne's uh, bus was shot up at one point. If I'm Lil Wayne, I'm not going nowhere where I can't bring the, where we can't bring the sticks, I'm not going either. <laughs> we got to be gripped up, all right? If I'm Lil Wayne, I'm thinking exactly 100% like this. So with the exception of the Lil Wayne thing, you know, that was, that sounds more like a situation where he's like, you know what? I don't want to be a statistic. If this is what y'all going to do, I know what I'm going to do. Also, obviously, Young Thug had no control over somebody shooting at him. But we have to do something, people. Not just only the artists, but us as a community. Us as a culture. We Something got to give. Now, we don't know why these things are happening, but hopefully everybody gets out of it without any... uh. It long lasting ill effects. Anyway, leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about this. The whole story. And your possibilities of what might happen. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.